Alright, what's going on guys? It is your boy Havoc here. Welcome to yet another tutorial on the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys the best recording settings for OBS and this is for recording your computer screen at 1080p, 60fps with no lag at all. If this video does help you out, be sure to drop a like. And I'm also on the road to 40,000 subscribers so any help would be greatly appreciated. And with that being said, Let's get straight into it. Now to start out, if you don't have this program installed yet, go ahead, click the first link in the description. That will take you to their website. Go ahead, get it installed. And once you have it open, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna add a scene. So don't worry if you don't have this right here. Just click on this plus icon and we're gonna create this scene and we're gonna call it screen recording. Click okay. And basically you can create multiple scenes and within those scenes there's these things called sources if you're not familiar with OBS. So to create a source we're going to click on this plus icon right here and there's just an array of different sources. So if you want to record your audio and visual as well then you can do that. Now as a quick tip if you just want to record a certain application you're on and you don't want to record the entire computer screen, you would want to add a game capture. But for today's tutorial, I'm going to click on display capture because I want to capture my entire computer screen. So click on that, click OK, and I don't have any other options. Some people actually have other options, but I don't. And you can choose whether or not you want to record your cursor, press OK. And as you can see, my preview isn't showing up right here yet. Uh, if it's showing up for you, that's great. If it isn't, and it looks like this, you wanna right click, enable preview, and there's your computer screen, it's recording. And now that we have this preview going on, uh, now let's go off to the settings, and it'll open up the general tab right here. You can change your language if you need to, you can change the theme, so if you want uh, a dark theme, so it looks it looks different. I personally really like this instead of the default. So it's really up to your preference. And all this other stuff, I would just leave it as default so I won't change anything. Now I'm gonna skip over the stream because this video is more geared toward just recording settings. If you guys want me to do a separate streaming recording settings for OBS or how to stream on OBS, just let me know down in the comments but we're gonna go to the output tab. All right, so now we're gonna switch this output mode to advanced because this allows us to change some of the audio settings. And like I said before, we're skipping over the streaming because this is just geared toward recording. Um, and so we're gonna go to this recording tab, keep the type as standard. For recording path, this is basically every single recording that you do, this is the folder or certain place in your computer that it will be placed in all those certain files so click on browse to change it and right now I have it toward my desktop but let's say you want to create a folder to make it less messy on your desktop so I'm gonna create a folder and click and say videos and just make sure you have that selected select folder and now all my all my files will go to that certain folder so for the recording format, you do not want FLV, you do not want any of these but the MP4. That's the only one I would suggest putting it as. And so we're going to have that selected. For audio track, keep that at 1. For the encoder, you're going to want to use the NVENC264 right here. And don't change any of this other stuff. Now down here, for the rate control, you want to keep this right here. For the bit rate, however, you want this a lot higher than that. Uh, you want this for the bit rate either somewhere between 30,000 to 50,000. It's, it's basically, I would suggest, the lowest number would be if you have a crappy laptop or a crappy computer. But if you have a very fast computer, I would suggest 50,000. So. For me, I'm going to probably put it at 35,000 because I have a relatively good computer. And after that, I will keep all this other stuff the same as it was before. And now we can move on to the audio tab right here. And the only thing that you're going to want to change right here is the audio bitrate for track 1. And we're going to switch this all the way up to 320 uh, because obviously you want the highest quality audio. I mean, who doesn't? And it doesn't really affect your computer that much as much as visual. So I would keep it at 320 for the bitrate. 
and after that we can switch to the audio tab down here now for the sample rate you want this to be the same as the sample rate on your microphone and to check to see what that is you would go down to this volume button right click it go to recording devices right click on your whatever microphone you're using and go to properties go to advanced and there it is so this basically shows you what your sample rate is for your microphone and is the same as on here for the sample rate right here so we're all good so you can go ahead and cancel out of there all right so now for the channels you want that as stereo for the desktop audio device you want to keep that as default you don't want to you don't want to use any of these other things just keep it as default now for the mic you obviously if you're using a microphone you want to use that because that will be a lot better than using like the default uh, microphone on your certain laptop or computer and for all this other stuff i personally don't mess with it i know some people do um but i would just keep this all unchecked and leave it the same and we'll move on to video now for video we're gonna want to keep all of this as high quality as we can so we're gonna make this 1920 by 1080 for the output we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna want this at 1920 by 1080 now for the downscale filter we're gonna want to switch this all the way up to 32 all right and last but not least we're gonna keep this FPS value at 60 because here on YouTube now um, basically the standard now it used to be 30 but now it's 60 and people have gotten used to watching videos at 60 and there's just such a huge difference between 60 FPS versus 30 FPS and you don't want to have bad quality videos so keep that on 60 all right so next we've got hotkeys now some people use some of these uh, I've never really gotten to it so I'm gonna leave all of these unchecked it's really up to you if you want to mess with these you can um, but I'm just gonna move to advanced now for here for the priority we're gonna switch this to above normal you don't want to do it too high but I would say around above normal is pretty good now for the render we're gonna keep this as direct 3d for the color format keep that as NV12 for the color space switch that to 709 and for the color range we're going to switch that to full and for the rest of all of this stuff just keep it the same just copy whatever I have right here this is all should be just default settings so just just don't change anything right here and you're going to want to click on apply and click OK and now what we're going to do is just do a test recording so I'm going to click on start recording I'm going to minus out of this and just to see how it's doing I'm just going to switch some of these around I might just uh, just open some of this stuff up oh there's my Skype guys add me on Skype and yeah we're just going to see how this works click stop recording and from here wherever you put that folder so for instance my folder wherever my files go to will be right here so just go ahead and click on that we're gonna open up see how this goes and it looks like it's recording at 1080p 60 FPS with absolutely no lag so it looks like it's recording pretty well so it looks like it worked and yeah so I'm just gonna exit out of that exit out of that go back to OBS yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. I hope that helped you out. If you guys want a sort of recording settings for OBS, just let me know down in the comments. And uh, with that being said, let's try and hit 200 likes on this video. And also be sure to subscribe for future content from me. It's been your boy Havoc here, and I hope to see you guys in future uploads. Peace.